At number 10, Kaylee Cuoco and Johnny Galecki. It turns out that these two stars dated on and off screen, but not everybody knew about it. Big Bang Theory stars Kaylee Cuoco and Johnny Galecki have had a pretty solid relationship over the years, but it turns out that not everybody knows just how close these two are. On an episode of Dax Shepard's podcast, Kaylee spilled the beans and exposed her old relationship with her former co star, telling the audience that she and Johnny had dated for two years during the show's run. Opening up about the whole thing, Kaylee told Dax, quote, We dated really early on for almost two years. When we did the pilot, I was crushing so hard on Galecki, but he had a girlfriend. We got together and just fell mad for each other for two years, but then we broke up. Luckily, Johnny and I came out of it so brilliantly and we're closer today than we ever were. Even though Kaylee and Johnny are better off as friends, it makes things a little clearer when you look at the chemistry that their characters had on screen. It's good to know that even though things didn't exactly work out romantically, they're still very close. At number 9, Ashley Benson and Cara Delevingne. For Ashley Benson and Cara Delevingne, they like to keep their private lives private, and that includes their love life. But just because they kept their romance out of the spotlight doesn't mean that fans wouldn't go looking. Since the moment people found out that they were working on a film together back in 2018, the speculation arose surrounding their potential relationship. In April 2018, the two were filming the movie Her Smell, and not too long afterwards, in May of that year, the relationship speculation came about after Ashley posted their first selfie together on Instagram. Following this event, fans couldn't lay off looking into their supposed relationship, though the pair never confirmed anything. These fans were certainly dedicated to sniffing out their relationship. Both Ashley and Cara went on record saying that even if they were in a relationship, they wouldn't confirm it because they'd like to keep their private lives private. But soon enough, the pair were spotted kissing in public and basically confirmed all of the rumors. Finally, in June 2019, Cara confirmed that the two were dating and that they had moved in together, making their fans jump for joy. But unfortunately, their relationship wasn't meant to last and the couple have since broken up. But I mean, they really went a while without publicly announcing their relationship, so they got to savor those moments without much scrutiny. At number 8, Brenda Song and Macaulay Culkin. I guess you could say that for these two, the movie Changeland changed their lives forever. But I'm I'll take my leave. Former Disney Channel star Brenda Song and former child actor Macaulay Culkin got together after working on the film Changeland after being introduced by Seth Green, and from that point on, it's been the two of them against the world. Their relationship is public knowledge now, but that wasn't the case at the beginning of their relationship because they kept their personal lives to themselves. Rumors of their relationship only started swirling in 2017, but they never publicly addressed it until 2019. Between that time when people would ask about the rumor that they were seeing each other, they would basically respond with the good old no comment response. Once they officially went public with their relationship, that's when we got to find out the juicy details regarding their pets, what they like about each other, and how in love they are. To make things even cuter, Brenda and Macaulay recently welcomed their first child in April of this year. In at number 7, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship is happily out in the public now, although the details on what goes on behind closed doors is still very secretive. Although you might not know that the couple kept their relationship hidden during the first few years that they were together. According to People Magazine, they initially started dating around 2000, but the media didn't learn about their romance until 2004 when they went to the MTV VMAs together. Even when they started appearing out in public together, their relationship was still private. The couple later got married during a secret ceremony in 2008 that nobody knew about for months. The only time we really see the couple together is during rare interviews or when either of them releases a documentary. At number 6, Vanessa Hudgens and Josh Hutcherson. Raise your hand if you didn't know that Vanessa Hudgens and Josh Hutcherson dated. Don't be shy, it's okay if you didn't know, because apparently a lot of people didn't. Turns out that Josh and Vanessa dated sometime around 2011. Now we don't have much information about their relationship because it was kept so hush hush, but what we do know is that it happened, and then it happened while they were filming the movie Journey 2. The two met on set of the film and hit it off from there, but their relationship was pretty short lived. The public only found out that they had briefly dated when the two of them were doing press for Journey 2 and someone asked how long they had been dating. There's a video of the cringy revelation that they had dated and broken up already, but because I like you guys, I will spare you that agony. But if you want to go watch it on your own time, after this video of course, just don't say I didn't warn you. Halfway number 5, Sandra Bullock and Ryan Gosling. Before Ryan Gosling was with Eva Mendes, he and Sandra Bullock dated for over a year if you can believe it. And the relationship was pretty secretive for two A-list stars. In 2002, the pair dated for a little over a year after filming 
by numbers together. They never confirmed their relationship while it was happening, but in 2011, Gosling told The Times that Bullock was one of his quote, greatest girlfriends ever. Bullock also sung his praises and said he helped her become more laid back person, she said in one interview. At number four, Nina Dobrev and Ian Summerholder. When the Vampire Diaries was still on TV, that was a weird time for all of us. At least for us angsty teens with way too many feelings. A lot of us got way too invested in the show and with the actors, so when Nina Dobrev and Ian Summerholder started dating, it's no wonder they wanted to keep it private. These two actors reportedly started dating while working on the show in 2010, and they were able to keep it pretty much under wraps for about a year. The couple dated for three years, but they kept that first year completely to themselves. They were one of those couples who were able to turn their on-screen chemistry into a real relationship and remain friends after they broke up. Fans of the show were obsessed with Nina and Ian's relationships, so much so that the couple won an award for favorite on-screen chemistry. In 2012, there was a rumor circulating that they had gotten engaged, and though they denied that, fans still remained skeptical, though it didn't matter in the end since they ended up breaking up. They still remain on good terms, and apparently Nina is good friends with Ian's wife, so it all worked out in the end. And at number three, Aubrey Plaza and Michael Sarah. Aubrey Plaza and Michael Sarah dating is not a shock at all to me. They star in a lot of comedies together and their personalities seem really similar. But what is shocking is that they kept their relationship totally secret while they were together. After filming Scott Pilgrim vs. The World together, Aubrey Plaza and Michael Sarah started seeing each other officially. But they didn't tell the world until after they had broken up. In a 2016 episode of RuPaul's podcast, What's the Tea, Plaza revealed that they dated for more than a year, saying, quote, we love each other and we're just really good friends. He's just a weird little freak and we speak the same language. At number two, Alexis Bledel and Jared Padalecki. There's nothing better than finding out some juicy secrets about one of your favorite shows years later. That's what fans of Gilmore Girls experienced when they found out that there had been a secret romance that went undetected between Alexis Bledel and Jared Padalecki. It turns out that though they were love interests on the show, their chemistry bled into real life and they had dated while filming the show. But this secret was kept until nine years after the show ended. Nearly a decade later and fans of the show finally get to know what was going on behind the scenes. Don't know why they kept it a secret for so long, but hey, at least it's out now. And finally, at number one, Ross Lynch and Jazz Sinclair. Fans of the chilling adventures of Sabrina were over the moon to find out that two members of the show's cast were in a relationship. This revelation came two years after it was suspected that there was a romance brewing between Ross Lynch and Jazz Sinclair. As per usual, fans and press alike were searching for clues as to what was going on between the two stars, but they were pretty good at hiding their relationship. Fans only got confirmation of the relationship after they went TikTok official in 2020, after they posted a video of the two of them dancing together and almost sharing a kiss. Ross and Jazz remain in a relationship, and I personally hope that they never break up because they're just so cute together. At number 10, Rihanna and Travis Scott. Here's a celeb hookup that might surprise you because it certainly surprised me when I found out. Rihanna and Travis Scott reportedly dated back in 2015, though their relationship story is a little foggy and confusing since they never wanted anyone to find out about it in the first place. Everything was super hush-hush, so don't tell anybody I told you this. Basically, their friends with benefits slash actual relationship took place about six years or so ago, and neither of them outright confirmed their relationship. When Travis was asked about Rihanna in an interview, he described her as being his muse and seemed to have had very passionate feelings for her, though he never chose to make these things public. He actually got incredibly upset when a magazine published details about him and Rihanna because they were told not to release those details, but they went against his wishes and they did it anyway. You'd think that with that sort of reaction, Action, it was Travis who wanted to keep his fling on the DL, but it was actually Rihanna who wanted everything to be a secret because apparently she was embarrassed to be with him. The details as to who was the one who broke things off in the end remained a mystery, but we do know that things ended in 2016, shortly before Travis was linked to Kylie Jenner. At number 9, Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox. Looks like this celebrity fling was as juicy as it was on screen. After keeping this little hookup a secret for quite some time, Shia LaBeouf finally spilled the beans, so to speak, after revealing that he had a little romance with his Transformers co-star Megan Fox back in the day. In 2011, Shia revealed in an interview that he had a brief entanglement with the actress, saying that being on set and portraying two people in love caused their personal lives and work lives to become a little blurred. 
Shia was said to have been very protective of Megan while they were together, even having an outburst in a convenience store and hopping behind the counter to have a physical confrontation with an employee who was allegedly rude to Megan. To make things even juicier, this romance was apparently going on during the time that Megan and Brian Austin Green were allegedly engaged, so this was quite the entanglement. Years later, Megan said that she was in love with Shia at the time, confirming their brief fling. At number 8, Michael Sarah and Aubrey Plaza. If you're a fan of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, then you're familiar with how the character Julie Powers isn't too fond of Scott Pilgrim. Well, it might come as a surprise to you to find out that the actors who portrayed Julie and Scott in the 2010 film are very different from their counterparts on screen in the sense that they certainly don't hate each other and they actually dated for some time around the release of the movie. Michael Sarah and Aubrey Plaza met on the set of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World and they ended up dating for about a year and a half. Things were pretty serious between them as they almost got married too. When Aubrey was a guest star on RuPaul's Drag Race back in 2016, she told Ru about her relationship with Michael saying, quote, we drove across the country after we shot that movie and almost got married in Vegas. Aubrey also opened up saying that she and Michael remain on good terms even though their romantic relationship didn't exactly work out. Their relationship remained pretty secret until after things were over between them, so we didn't really get to live through the Scott and Julie shipping like we would have liked to, but hey, they come and they go. At number seven, Taylor Swift. Now this next one I'm sure you are familiar with because there was so much drama going on between fan bases, it was hard to miss. For a brief time between 2012 and 2013, Harry Styles and Taylor Swift were a couple. We don't really know that much about their relationship because it was kept so private, but there are images captured by paparazzi that confirm that they were together. The most information we have about their time together came after their breakup though because this is where the drama began, but in song form of course. It is believed that there is somewhere between four and six songs about this relationship released by both Harry and Taylor. Many fans believe that the songs Style, Out of the Woods, I Knew You Were Trouble, and I Wish You Would, all by Taylor Swift, are about Harry in some way or another. Fans think that the release of these songs is what prompted Harry to release a few songs of his own about Taylor. It is thought that the songs Perfect and Two Ghosts are about Taylor Swift. Though not much is known about their time together, fans did get a handful of bangers out of this little entanglement. Before we carry on talking about the juicy hookups that Harry Styles had, why not take a moment to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and while you're at it, consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 6, Cord Overstreet and Emma Watson. Now there's not much information on this relationship because it was kept so private, but there's word that Cord Overstreet and Emma Watson were an item for a little while back in 2018. In early 2018, it was really rumored that Cord and Emma were seeing each other, but when this news broke, their relationship was still fairly new and there wasn't much to say about it other than rumors and speculation. They were first spotted together at a concert in February of 2018, and then later at an Oscars viewing party the following month. Not long after the news of their apparent relationship broke, they were seen again holding hands and this sort of sealed the deal for most people, though again, nothing was really confirmed. But then things seemed to have just fizzled out and died as the reports came out saying that the two had broken up after six months of dating. Less than a month after that, they were seen together again and there was speculation that they had gotten back together, but again, nothing was ever confirmed. Emma is known to try and keep her private life private, so that could be the reason why this relationship mostly flew under the radar, but it's still something surprising to note. At number 5, Amy Poehler and John Stamos. Back in 2014, actress and comedian Amy Poehler dished about her experience getting back into the dating pool after she separated from her husband, Will Arnett. She told Howard Stern in an interview about how things were a little confusing getting back into dating and how she once had gone out with none other than Uncle Jesse himself, John Stamos. Amy told Howard how she and John had worked on a film together and that at some point during the time they were working together, John had asked Amy to go to dinner. Apparently there was some confusion around that because Amy told Howard during her interview that she didn't think that her dinner with John was really a date and that she was all confused about it all, but later on, a few months later, after Amy's interview, John was asked about this date confusion and he said that the dinner was in fact a date. Basically, there was a lot of confusion and uncertainty and no doubt a little bit of awkwardness as well. At number 4, Sharon Osbourne and Jay Leno. 
When you picture Sharon Osbourne, you can't really see her without her other half, Ozzy, but there was once a time before Ozzy came along and you won't believe who she dated. In 2013, Sharon admitted to having a quote, flingy wingy with Jay Leno. Sharon revealed on an episode of The Talk that when she was 25, before she started seeing Ozzy, she had moved to America and was working at a place that was quote, full of men. One day she met a man who turned out to be Jay Leno and Sharon and her friend decided to prank call him one evening. Well, this prank call ended up turning into a full-blown conversation and then a little bit more. Elaborating on the situation, Sharon said, quote, he came to my house and he met me and he had a little fling. And the fling was more a fling for me and not a fling enough for him. Because a couple months into it, he brought around his real love of his life for me to meet and she was lovely and they took me to Fadburger and they showed me around town. It was brief and Sharon went on to marry Ozzy anyway, but it's so fun to learn that these two celebrities had a fling. At number three, Camille Rowe. One of Harry Styles' more recent relationships was with Victoria's Secret model Camille Rowe a couple years back from 2017 to 2018. Fans were quick to catch on to this relationship as some of the most invested fans noticed Harry's voice in the background of one of Camille's Instagram stories. This relationship seemed to be a little more serious than ones in the past as it was said that Harry introduced Camille to his family. They were also seen being cute out in public as Harry was spotted carrying Camille's purse. Unfortunately though, Harry and Camille ended up breaking up after about a year together. Even though their relationship ended, they still seemed pretty close. As they were spotted by one of Harry's fans having lunch together in LA, giving the fan base a little hope that the couple would be getting back together. Unfortunately for the fans though, that never ended up happening. At number two, Johnny Depp and Jennifer Grey. All people can talk about in regards to Johnny Depp these days is his awful experience with Amber Heard and the drama surrounding that, but Amber obviously isn't the only one Johnny has been with. Johnny has also been linked to Vanessa Parody, with whom he has two kids, and who was also married to Lori Ann Allison back in the 80s, and there are a number of other celebrities he's dated, but there's another star that the actor dated that not everyone knows about. Johnny Depp had a pretty serious relationship with actress Jennifer Grey back in the day. The two Hollywood stars only dated for about a year, but things were serious enough for Johnny to propose to Jennifer in 1989. They were set to get married the following year, but clearly that never happened. They really kept their relationship super secret, so there aren't many details about their fling other than the fact that it happened, but it's still something that not many people know about. I wonder what happened between them. And finally, at number one, Tom Cruise and Cher. This next celebrity fling surprised me the most, so let me know if this one caught you by surprise as well. Back in the 80s, Tom Cruise and Cher were an item. I had no clue that they were ever together, but apparently it's true. Apparently Tom and Cher first met at Madonna and Sean Penn's wedding and they sort of hit it off. Though there was a 16 year age gap between them, that didn't stop them from having a little fling. Cher reportedly told James Corden that Tom was one of her top five lovers, so clearly things were pretty good between them, right? The singer also told Oprah Winfrey that Tom could have been a quote, great big romance if they hadn't been forced to break things off due to their busy schedules. They're apparently still pretty good friends and part of me wishes that I could have seen this romance between them because it sounds like it was something incredible. In at number 10, Madonna and Tupac. This relationship was super low key, but it did happen. And two of the biggest musical legends dated back in their heyday. Madonna and Tupac dated for over a year until the late rapper ended things with a letter written from prison in 1995 that later went public when it went up for auction. In that letter, Tupac admitted he needed to break up with her because he felt by being with a white woman, he was letting down the black community. The letter ended up being sold for more than $170,000. The letter is dated January 15th of 1995 and is addressed to his ex, Madonna or M as he would call her. In the letter, he wrote, quote, for you to be seen with a black man wouldn't in any way jeopardize your career. But for me at least in my previous perception, I felt due to my image, I would be letting down half of the people who made me what I thought I was. And number nine, Kaylee Kiyoko and Johnny Galecki. These co-stars characters were in a relationship during the hit show, The Big Bang Theory. But a little known fact is that the actors dated in real life at the same time, but they kept it hidden for the sake of the show. Kyoko revealed that they were together for two years from 2007 to 2009 in an interview with CBS Watch in 2010. She said, quote, It was a wonderful relationship, but we never spoke a word about it and never went anywhere together. We were so protective of ourselves and the show and didn't want anything to ruin that. 
However, Cuoco revealed that the secret nature of their relationship is also the reason that it ended, because it took a toll on their bond. She added, quote, Everyone was always asking, and we deny, 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 as she revealed. And I'm like, why am I denying this person that I love? In at number 8, Renee Zellweger and Bradley Cooper Both of these celebrities have been in high profile relationships in the past, but for some reason the relationship between them was kept a secret until their split. Back in 2009, they dated after filming Case 39 together. They never publicly confirmed their relationship, but we were all pretty sure it was happening because they were seen being snapped by paparazzi out and about. It ended up being a good thing that they didn't go public though, because not long after the pair announced that they split. In 2011, it was reported that the relationship ended, even though they never even confirmed it in the first place. At number 7, Matthew Broderick and Jennifer Grey One of my favorite movies of all time is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So to find out about the secret relationship that was going on on the set of this movie is an extra special treat for me and it might be for you as well. Turns out that Matthew Broderick who played Ferris Bueller and Jennifer Grey who played Ferris's sister Jeannie were actually a couple and they were even engaged at one point. According to Jennifer, the romance started while they were filming Ferris Bueller saying that it was a little difficult for them because their relationship was a secret. Their romance even affected their work because even though they were supposed to be playing rival siblings in the movie, always being at each other's throats, Jennifer would say that they would often break character, saying, quote, I got the giggles so bad that they basically had to stop production. I full on couldn't get it together for anything. The producers were like, take a walk around the block, and I would, and it would start again. It was painful. The giggling was because of all the energy between us. And at number six, Cher and Tom Cruise. Another very shocking relationship was between Cher and Tom Cruise. The pair never admitted it while they were together, but Cher revealed the secret to the Daily Mail in 2018. The relationship happened back in the 80s after the pair reconnected at an event. Cher said, quote, A bunch of people who were dyslexic were invited to the White House. Tom and I are both dyslexic. We didn't go out to way later, but there was definitely a connection there. Back in 1985, he was 23 and she was 38. The pair first met at Madonna and Sean Penn's wedding in Malibu, but it wasn't until their next meeting at the White House when they really connected. She later told Oprah Winfrey that they might have enjoyed a great big romance had their busy schedules not kept them apart. Halfway number five, Shailene Woodley and Aaron Rodgers. This couple silently got together in 2020, and fans were shocked to learn about the unlikely couple. The pair was rumored together during the pandemic, but they kept it out of the public eye until February 2021, when Rodgers thanked his fiance during a speech. While on stage at the NFL Honors Award show, he said, quote, 2020 was definitely a crazy year full of lots of change, growth, some amazing memorable moments. 180 straight days of having my nose hair scraped, playing for very little fans or no stands the entire season. I got engaged and I played some of the best football in my career. Weeks later, when Woodley went on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, she confirmed their engagement and showed off her engagement ring. Sources have revealed that the pair are not traditional and will be keeping it very under wraps. One source added, quote, they have a very different non-traditional relationship. Shailene and Aaron are still together, it's not odd, and they don't post about each other on their birthdays in that sense, and are very private about things. And at number four, Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes. After Katie Holmes' strange relationship with Tom Cruise ended, she got into a relationship with Jamie Foxx that wasn't made public until several years later. It's been reported that the couple first got together since at least 2013, but didn't go public until 2017 after being together for four years. Many fans felt the secrecy was not just planned by the couple, it was actually forced by Tom Cruise. After Tom and Katie's divorce, sources revealed that one stipulation of their divorce settlement was that Katie was not allowed to publicly date anyone for at least five years after. That rumor has never been proven, but since the announcement, Jamie and Katie had been happily showing off their PDA. Maybe that's because they were silenced for so long. The pair split in 2019, a source said, quote, Jamie was disappointed, though we understood she needed more of a commitment. At number three, Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse. Sticking with the theme of teen drama actors and their fans who are way too obsessed with their personal lives, we have Riverdale stars Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse. From very early on in the show's run, Bughead was really what fans got excited for. Bughead, for those who don't know, is a ship name for Cole and Lily's characters, Betty and Jughead. So when Bughead became a real thing, fans were over the moon, but it took them a little while to clue in because Cole and Lily were able to keep their relationship a secret for quite a while. There was speculation that the two started dating in early 2017, but it wasn't confirmed until later that year when Lily posted a beautiful Instagram post for Cole's birthday. They never really exploited their relationship much, even after 
after it was confirmed and tried to keep their personal lives private. In 2018, they made their relationship red carpet official as they attended the Met Gala together, but even then, the details of their relationship remained pretty minimal. In an interview, Lily said, quote, No one knows how long we've been together, and no one will until we're ready to say it. No one knows how we fell in love except for our close friends and us. It's really special. Sadly, for Bughead fans, they've since broken up, but their relationship will still be remembered as one of the sweetest. And at number two, Scarlett Johansson and Sean Penn. After Scarlett had a very public divorce from Ryan Reynolds, she decided to leave her relationships out of the spotlight for good. That's why her romance with Sean Penn was kept under wraps. Given how famous she is, it's hard to believe that she managed to keep an entire relationship with another A-list actor a secret. But she did just that when she dated Sean Penn in 2011. According to Johansson, they quote, "...spend time together for about six months." I guess that's her way of saying it was a pretty casual affair. She added in a 2012 interview with Vogue, quote, "...I never put a title on it, really, but we were seeing each other." And even though it didn't last, the pair still remained friends. And finally, number one, Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt. These two played love interests in the hit show Riverdale. And like we see often with celebrity relationships, this pair's acting led into real life, and we assume that they started dating. Although they never made it official, it was obvious to anyone who was paying attention. It's rumored that they started dating sometime in 2017. The pair got in tons of drama too, and apparently were very on and off. One time, Cole was even accused of cheating on Lily with model Kaya Gerber. Then in 2020, Cole officially announced their split on Instagram, writing in a long caption, quote, "...Lily and I initially separated in January of this year, deciding to more permanently split in March. And what an incredible experience I had. I'll always feel lucky and cherished that I had the chance to fall in love. I wish her nothing but the utmost love and happiness moving forward." All I'll say about it is anything else you hear doesn't matter. At number 10, Nicole Kidman and Lenny Kravitz. I can't imagine how hard it would be to hide a relationship as a celebrity. Being a public figure like some of the stars on this list has its drawbacks because the public is always watching you at all times, so to hide your private life successfully seems like it would be a bit of a challenge. Some celebrities are able to do that pretty well, and Nicole Kidman and Lenny Kravitz are some of the best at hiding things because they were able to hide their pretty serious relationship back in the day. Nicole and Lenny seem like two people who wouldn't really run into each other, but apparently they were a lot closer than we thought. Shortly after Nicole divorced from her ex-husband Tom Cruise, Nicole was actually renting a place from Lenny Kravitz and that's how they met. The two became pretty close and they eventually started seeing each other. Nicole later revealed that there was a time where she, Lenny, and Zoe Kravitz were quote, all sort of living together. It wasn't until years later that the public found out just how serious Nicole and Lenny's relationship was, as Nicole once said in an interview that she was engaged to Lenny at one point. Obviously, things didn't quite work out, but the fact that they were able to hide a serious relationship, engagement, and breakup without anyone finding out is actually pretty impressive and also explains why a lot of people had no clue about this celebrity hookup. At number 9, Zachary Quinto and Jonathan Groff. Raise your hand if you had no idea that Zachary Quinto and Jonathan Groff were once an item. This is another couple I had no idea about before researching this video, and I'm kind of sad that I missed out on it. Zachary and Jonathan were in a relationship for around a year or so, and they seemed to have kept their love life pretty private. They didn't even go public with their breakup either, so there weren't really any juicy details as to what really happened. It's believed that work and distance is what made them grow apart and end things, but they seemingly ended things on pretty good terms with no hostility or negativity. A source close to the couple at the time confirmed the news of their split, saying, quote, Zach being far away and filming was not easy on them. They really loved each other, so it wasn't an easy split. It just ran its course. The couple went public with their relationship back in 2012 when Zachary did an interview with Out Magazine about a year or so after he publicly came out as gay. At number 8, Drew Barrymore and Christian Bale. So it turns out that Hollywood stars Drew Barrymore and Christian Bale once had a tiny little fling of sorts and basically no one knew about it. Back in 2012, Christian revealed in an interview with GQ Australia how he was once tied to Drew and that it did not end well. In the interview, Christian said that he once went on a date with the actress and after their evening, she completely ghosted him. Going into detail about the ordeal, Christian said, quote, We went to see some bloody awful horror film and that was the end 
of it. She never called again. To make things a little juicier, Drew was later asked about her failed date with Christian in 2015 during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live, and host Andy Cohen asked why she ghosted the actor, to which she replied saying, quote, I don't know. He was super nice. I wasn't like super boy crazy. I had a lot of fish to fry. Like I had big problems in my world for many years. Like in good ways. Things you gotta overcome. Boys are like very secondary. I seriously wonder what would have happened had their date been successful. Do you think they would still be together? At number seven, Janet Jackson and Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. We've got another surprising celebrity hookup. This one, including the man, the myth, the legend, Matthew McConaughey, and the amazing queen herself, Janet Jackson. Now, I had no idea that these two used to be an item, but it turns out that they were, but only for a very brief moment. These two decided to give their love a try back in the early 2000s, but they weren't compatible at all, and they only lasted about one date before pulling the plug on what whatever fling was going on between them. The pair met back in February 2002 at the Grammy Awards and reportedly hit it off after that first encounter. They went on a date shortly afterwards, but as Matthew would later admit years later, things just fizzled out after that one date. They decided that they would just be friends and that's where they left things. Both went on to have other relationships and never looked back, but it still makes for a very interesting secret celebrity hookup. At number six, Megan Fox and Robert Pattinson. In part one of this series, I talked about how Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox had a secret fling, but apparently Megan reportedly had another secret hookup with fellow Hollywood star Robert Pattinson. According to someone who worked with Megan on the set of the film Jennifer's Body in 2009, Megan reportedly hooked up with Robert one night. The source also claimed that, quote, Megan was totally into Rob and thought he was really cute, but nothing went further than that one night they were together. He totally blew her off. Both Megan and Robert shut down these rumors, but maybe there really was something between them one night. We may never really know for sure. At number five, Georgia Fowler. After a handful of other relationships and hookups, Harry Styles moved on to having a relatively short-lived relationship with New Zealand-based model Georgia Fowler back in 2015. Fans found out about their little fling when Georgia posted a video of the two of them playing Scrabble on her Snapchat. No, that's where I need to go. Though their time together was brief, fans have suspected that Harry's song Kiwi is about Georgia because Kiwi is a common nickname for people from New Zealand. This suspicion has never been confirmed, and when asked about the song, Georgia has expressed confusion as to why people have associated her with the song, as she said in an interview, quote, really don't know anything about it. Definitely don't have a baby. That's what the song is about. End quote. What do you guys think? Could the song be about her? At number four, Ashley Olsen and Lance Armstrong. Here's a juicy little story about forbidden love. Well, not really, but it's a little spicy. You see, actress and fashion designer Ashley Olsen and former professional cyclist Lance Armstrong had a bit of a fling in 2007 and very few people were on board with it. They started seeing each other a few weeks after Lance broke up with fashion designer Tori Burch and sources say that Ashley and Lance were infatuated with each other. The two were spotted on a date at the Rose Bar in the Gramercy Park Hotel and they were seen macking on each other and then later leaving together in the early hours of the morning. Because there was a 15 year age difference, the people closest to Lance advised the cyclist to stop seeing Ashley over fears that this relationship and the large age difference would ruin his career. Ironic. Lance tried to fight for his infatuation with Ashley but things just ended up fizzling out a couple months later. At number three, Leah Michelle and Matthew Morrison. TV and Broadway actress Leah Michelle was known for having had a serious relationship with the late Corey Monteith, but it seems as though Corey wasn't the only Glee star that she was in a relationship with. In Leah's 2014 book, Brunette Ambition, she wrote about her experience on Glee, shooting the show's pilot, and revealing that before meeting the rest of the cast, she had already worked with Jenna Urshowitz and Matthew Morrison on Broadway. And saying, quote, Matt had been a friend of mine for years, and in fact, we'd actually dated back in the day for a Broadway beat. During the filming of Glee, there were apparently some rumors saying that she and Matthew were getting a little romantic because they were so close, but she shut down those rumors saying that there was nothing romantic between them and that they were just friends. There isn't really much information as to how long they dated and what made them end things. All we know is that it was very brief, so I guess you can just draw your own conclusions. At number two, Kim Kardashian and Nick Lachey. 
Did you know that Kim Kardashian and Nick Lachey dated? Back in 2006, after splitting from his ex Jessica Simpson, Nick got his rebound game on with Kim K, who at the time was still a nobody in terms of fame. In an interview, Nick shared some details about his relationship with Kim Kardashian, where he claimed that Kim used him for fame because at this time, she was only known as Paris Hilton's assistant. During the interview, Nick said, quote, Let's just say this. We went to a movie, no one followed us there. Somehow, mysteriously, when we left, there were 30 photographers waiting outside. There are certain ways to play this game, and some people play it well. In a way, Kim admitted that being linked to Nick worked well in terms of getting her notoriety, as she wrote in her 2010 book, Kardashian Confidential, that after dating Nick, paparazzi started calling her name when she was out. Starting off at number 10, we have Travis Scott and Rihanna. Many people don't know about this couple, because the time they spent together was kept very secret. Obviously, before Travis started dating Kylie Jenner, Although the pair were seen out a few times, neither party confirmed that they were actually seeing each other. The only confirmation we got that they actually dated was from inside sources. The relationship was first exposed on an episode of the Throwing Fits podcast. Then journalist Jonah Wiener shared more about the relationship with Complex. Wiener said, quote, I broke the news about him and Brianna, which they told me not to do. It's not because he's like, don't tell anyone I'm smashing Brianna. It's because Brianna's like, don't tell anyone I'm smashing Travis Scott, please adding it's obviously embarrassing as hell. And if this is true that she was embarrassed of him, I respect Rihanna even more than I did before. In at number nine, Tom Ackerley and Margot Robbie. Since Margot Robbie is known for playing the love interest in most of her movies, it's a shock to learn that she's been married this whole time, but intentionally kept it a secret. Some speculate that her management has forced her to appear single, so her married status would not affect her work. Robbie and Ackerley were roommates before they dated and eventually married in a surprise ceremony in 2016. And it's near impossible to find a photo of them together on her Instagram or on the red carpet. Usually, Robbie attends red carpets alone. In April of 2019, Robbie posted a rare photo of the couple on vacay in Finland. In at number 8, Daniel Craig and Rachel Wiez. This high-powered couple is another that is incredibly secretive. According to Metro, the couple first met in college and were friends for years, but it wasn't until they starred in the 2011 movie Dream House together that they actually started dating. Not only has the relationship been a secret, but so has the marriage. Apparently, the two got married in 2011 in a secret ceremony that was attended by just four people. They have been quietly together ever since and even started a family together. They now share a child together that was born in 2018. The pair are so secret that they don't even attend a lot of public events together, but it works for them. We has told the New York Times, quote, Daniel and I are really similar. We're just really crap at talking about our private lives. It seems that the pair also believe it's not a good idea to speak about their relationship to the public. In at number seven, Helen Mirren and Liam Neeson. This is another celebrity couple that is not only a bit shocking, but it was kept a secret while the pair were together. The pair first met while filming the movie Excalibur in the early 80s, and you may be surprised to hear that they spent almost five years together. Thankfully, the pair ended things amicably and have said only kind things about each other since the split. Mirren spoke about the relationship on The Grant Norton Show in 2018. She said, quote, We didn't date. We lived together for four years. We were a serious item for a while. Lucky me. In at number six, Matthew Perry and Lizzie Kaplan. This couple kept their relationship so well hidden that nobody knew that they were even together until long after they split. That's even more impressive because they dated for a whopping six years. It was reported that after six years of being together, they split in 2012. They kept their breakup secret for over a year before it was even announced. Sources said after the split that the two did not agree on their long-term goals. Kaplan wanted to get married, but Perry was not interested. The source added, quote, The last year that they were together, it was very up and down. A lot of back and forth. It was hard for them to let go, but ultimately Lizzie decided she wanted more. The source didn't know if Perry was against marriage altogether, or if he just not wanted to get married to Lizzie. At number five, Kit Harrington and Rose Leslie. I think I speak for many Game of Thrones fans when I say Kit Harrington and Rose Leslie's relationship had us going for a wild ride. Kit Harrington and Rose Leslie met while filming the second season of Game of Thrones, and from then they haven't looked back. They're the ones who gave us the iconic "You know nothing, Jon Snow," and from that point, we knew they were perfect. After seeing their chemistry together on screen, fans started suspecting that maybe there was something there that was a little bit more than friendly, and soon they were being spotted together in public and rumors started swirling of a relationship beginning to blossom between Jon Snow and Egret. They kept their relationship pretty private for the most part, as fans only had rumors and speculation to go off of in regards to their favorite Game of Thrones couple, which was a little annoying, but hey, what are you gonna do? It wasn't until 2016 that the couple went public with their relationship, with Kit confirming that they did fall in love while filming Game of Thrones 
Netherlands and Iceland. The couple later got engaged in 2017, married in 2018, and they recently welcomed their first child together earlier this year in February 2021. Happily ever after. In at number four, Nicole Kidman and Lenny Kravitz. Nicole Kidman and Lenny Kravitz are most likely a couple the public would never think of. But these two did date, and even more shocking, they were so serious about the relationship they were even engaged at one point. They got together in the early 2000s and were photographed out and about, but never confirmed any details about their relationship. Until 2017 when Kidman revealed during an interview that they were engaged. When Kidman was speaking about her castmates on Big Little Lies, she said, quote, Well, I knew Zoe because I was engaged to her father. She said of working with Zoe Kravitz. Quote, it's all in the family. I love Lenny. He's a great guy. And at number three, Jennifer Grey and Matthew Broderick. These two starred as brother and sister in the hit movie, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. They portrayed their hatred for each other so well, I was shocked to hear that the pair actually dated back in the day. The pair started dating after making the hit movie, but kept their relationship low key because they thought people might think it was strange. However, their relationship came to public attention after the couple was involved in a fatal car crash while vacationing together in Ireland in 1987. Sadly, both passengers in the other car passed away as a result of the crash. Roderick was found to be at fault for the accident, and Grace suffered minor physical injuries. She later said she also struggled for years to recover emotionally from the incident. The trauma from that accident led to their split. In at number two, Cory Booker and Rosario Dawson. New Jersey Democratic Senator Cory Booker and actress Rosario Dawson started dating while Booker was campaigning for the presidency in 2019. The rumors that they were dating first started when they were seen out at a performance of Broadway's Dear Evan Hansen together. Then a few months later in March, Dawson confirmed the relationship to TMZ. She said, quote, I'm just grateful to be with someone that I respect and love and admire so much. The pair are still very low key and do not share details about their relationship, but Dawson is spotted at a rally supporting Booker and has made a few appearances on her social media profiles, along with attending some of her movie premieres. And finally, number one, Zach Braff and Florence Pugh. This couple has kept their relationship pretty secret due to their controversial age gap. The couple who share a 21 year age gap met on the set of a 2019 short film that he directed called In the Time It Takes to Get There. They have never walked on a red carpet and are rarely seen on each other's Instagram. This is because the first time Braff appeared on Pew's Instagram, the post was flooded with hate comments regarding their age gap. The comments were later deactivated on the April 2020 post, and Pew later shared a video statement concerning the backlash. In the nearly four minute video, she shared that she was forced to turn off the comments on her post, showing Braff because 70% of the comments were hurling hate. She shared that she is a 24 year old grown woman and she can make her own decisions about who she chooses to be with. She added that it is nobody's place to talk badly about a relationship that does not affect them. And if people cannot hold their tongues, they should just unfollow her. The pair are still together and are very serious. They also share an adopted dog. And finally, at number one, Scarlett Johansson and Justin Timberlake. It is rumored that Scarlett Johansson and Justin Timberlake have gotten pretty close in the past and have hooked up in secret on a few occasions. Their secret relationship of sorts reportedly began after they worked together on Justin's music video for What Goes Around Comes Around, where Scarlett played Justin's love interest. Sources have also said that the pair got very close with each other back in 2011 while Justin was dating Jessica Biel. Some sources reported that after having a wild night on the town, party hopping in New York, Justin was seen headed straight for Scarlett's apartment. Now again, nothing is confirmed, but nothing's been denied either. So what do you guys think? At number eight, Caroline Flack. When Harry Styles was still a rising star on The X Factor, he had his first celebrity hookup. Though it may have been fun in the beginning, it also ultimately led to Harry being in his first scandal. Again, quite early on in his career. He completely bounced back from it, but at the time, this sneaky link was big news. Back when Harry was on The X Factor, he developed a crush on the show's presenter, Caroline Flack. Caroline wrote about this little crush in her autobiography, Storm in a Sea Cup, where she revealed that Harry's crush on her was no secret, saying, quote, I already knew that he had a crush on me. He made it pretty obvious. He said it in magazines, and he said it to his friends. End quote. Ultimately, they started dating when Harry was 17 and Caroline was 31. All was well with them until suddenly things got complicated. One day, paparazzi captured images of Harry leaving Caroline's house and a scandal began. Caroline shared her thoughts on what happened next in her book, writing, quote, It began to go wrong when Harry was pictured coming out of my house one morning. And once that was out, it was open season. After that, anyone could say anything. In the street, people started shouting at me. End quote. Things got so bad that Caroline even started receiving threats from One Direction fans, ultimately ending her relationship with Harry. At number seven, Macaulay Culkin and Mila Kunis. 
Did you know about Macaulay Culkin and Mila Kunis' nearly decade-long relationship? Because apparently not very many people were aware that these two dated. The pair dated for about eight years, spanning from 2002 to 2011, before finally calling it quits. Mila said that she and Macaulay sort of grew up together because they got together when they were pretty young. Mila was 18 and Macaulay was 21, spending their early adulthood together. Apparently, their relationship first started out as a long-distance relationship as Mila was working on that 70s show in California while Macaulay was living in New York. When they broke up, there was speculation that cheating was involved since it was rumored that the split was not amicable and took a heavy toll on Macaulay. It was alleged that Mila cheated on Macaulay with her 70s show co-star Ashton Kutcher but regardless of the rumors, the two remain on bad terms and are reportedly no longer friends after their messy split. Both Macaulay and Mila have moved on with other partners, so maybe now it's all water under the bridge. At number six, Nicole Scherzinger. Now this next hookup doesn't have much information to it, but it's pretty juicy and it's one celebrity hookup that I never knew about, so I had to include it on this list. Back in 2013, the Sun publication reported that Harry Styles had allegedly hooked up with Pussycat Dolls singer Nicole Scherzinger. Nicole was a judge on The X Factor back when Harry was on the show back in 2010, and so that's where people think things started between the two. When this alleged hookup happened, Harry was 19 while Nicole was 35. Fans thought that this age gap between the two performers was a little strange, while others didn't really see much issue with it since they were both adults. What's your take on this age gap? Is it weird or perfectly fine? Leave your thoughts down in the comments. At number five, Rihanna and Ashton Kutcher. Here's the tea on this fling, so get your mugs ready. Apparently, Rihanna and Ashton had a little entanglement back in 2012, as the singer was spotted leaving the actor's house in the early hours of the morning back in March of that year. Sources suggested that the two had reportedly had a one night stand, noting that the singer had arrived at the house around midnight that night and left around 4 a.m. This spotting of sorts confirmed some people's speculation that there was something going on between the two of them because this wasn't the first time they were seen getting close to one another. According to one source, they had been flirting with each other, texting, and meeting up in hotels. Other sources said that at the time, they were just two single people having fun and saying, quote, both of them love having a good time and think they're too busy for anything serious just yet. There was no definite end to this fling, and since it wasn't anything serious, it doesn't really matter, but it's still interesting to find out that these two Hollywood stars were so close at one point. At number four, Kendall Jenner. This next relationship slash hookup is a little complicated because they were kind of on and off. Kendall Jenner and Harry Styles had a brief relationship back in 2013 when they were spotted having dinner together in LA in November of that year. The couple ended up splitting up a few months later in February 2014, but the following year in 2015, they sparked up their relationship once again after they were spotted spending New Year's together on a yacht. About a week after the couple was spotted together, fan suspicion were confirmed by Kendall's sister Chloe when she told Entertainment Weekly that Kendall and Harry were in fact dating, saying, quote, Do I think they're dating? Yes. I don't know if they're like boyfriend, girlfriend. Nowadays, I don't know. People are weird with stuff. So I don't know their title. End quote. Not much was seen of the couple after that until they were spotted again a few months later in April 2016 when the pair were seen shopping together in LA. This, however, came about during a time when Kendall was also rumored to be dating Lakers player Jordan Clarkson. After that, things went dark again until October 2016, when they were spotted together one last time while having dinner. Fans thought that this might have been their next attempt at having a relationship, though nothing was ever confirmed. At number three, Hilary Duff and Shia LaBeouf. During a 2011 interview, actor Shia LaBeouf revealed that he once went on a date with Lizzie McGuire star Hilary Duff, and he called it the worst date he's ever had. The actor shared some details of his horrible date with Hillary, saying that back in 2002, the pair went on a sushi date and that the date was so incredibly bad that they never went on another one and that he and Hillary never spoke again after that day. Shia didn't share any more details to paint a bigger picture of the day, but I can imagine that for them to never speak again, it must have been really terrible. At number two, Kiko Mizuhara. Now this next one is more rumor and speculation than anything else, but fans were convinced that Harry Styles had some kind of relationship with Kiko Mizuhara. In early 2019, a rumor started going around suggesting that Harry Styles was dating actress, model, and singer Kiko Mizuhara. When this rumor eventually circled back to Kiko, she tried to shut it down. Kiko took to Twitter to try and tell her fans that there was nothing going on between her and Harry when she said, quote, it's been reported that Harry Styles and I have been in a relationship, but I have no relationship with him and I have never met him. The world is full of fake news. 
people believe what they want to believe rather than questioning reality. End quote. Despite this tweet, however, fans debunked Kiko's statement as her cover was blown about a month after making that tweet. Kiko was spotted at Harry's 25th birthday party in Tokyo, and there's even video evidence to back it all up. They weren't seen getting too close, but fans were still convinced that there was something going on between the two celebrities. And finally, at number one, Olivia Wilde. This is Harry's current relationship, and it seems to be going pretty well so far. Rumors of their relationship started back in late 2020 as he got closer while working on Olivia's film Don't Worry Darling after Harry got the part that Shia LaBeouf was fired from. The couple officially confirmed their relationship in early 2021 and those close to them have said that they are going strong. On the topic of their relationship, sources have said, quote, they have gotten serious quickly and have an intense connection, end quote. Olivia and Harry have been spending a lot of time together. Olivia has been spotted at many of Harry's concerts, dancing and showing support for her man and they've even been seen traveling together. Over the summer last year, Harry and Olivia were seen vacationing together in southern Italy, and it's also been reported that the couple is renting a house together. Things seem to be going quite well with them, so I hope things continue on a positive path for them.